PC David Carrick from the Metropolitan Police has pled guilty to a series of sexual assaults and rapes that span over 10 years. He came from the same unit as Wayne Cousins, who murdered Sarah Everard and was later convicted of her murder. The statement released by the police today is nothing short of shocking. The offences that he's committed were heinous and also callous and cold. His story was covered on the channel over a year ago. This was before so much media interest today. And we are going to read the official statement from the police and also all of the official convictions. David Carrick, 49 years old, appeared at Suffolk Crown Court on the 16th of January. He entered guilty pleas for false imprisonment, indecent assault, four counts of rape at a previous hearing in relation to one offence on Tuesday the 13th of December. He pled guilty to another 43 offences and 20 counts of rape, alongside controlling and coercive behaviour. He'll be sentenced on the 6th of February for these offences. The Assistant Commissioner Barbara Gray said on behalf of the Metropolitan Police I want to apologise to the women who suffered at the hands of David Carrick. I commend the bravery of everybody that came forward and reported what he did. Carrick is a prolific serial sex offender who preyed on women over a period of years. He abused his position as a police officer and committed the most horrific, degrading crimes that I've ever heard of. He has devastated women's lives and he has a devastating impact on the trust and confidence in the police and there is a lot of work to do in the future. He used the fact that he was a police officer to coerce people and we know that they felt unable to come forward because of what he told them. They go on to say in the statement they should have spotted the pattern of abusive behaviour and they didn't and they missed opportunities and take responsibility for this. Carrick was originally charged with rape in October 2021. The Metropolitan Police did a full review of their services and also the conduct and complaints record. It was established on the police systems in relation to a number of off-duty incidents before and after his employment as a police officer. These incidents were in the Metropolitan Forces area and in those of other forces. So this means that he committed offences relating to women when he was a police officer and it was in the area that he worked in. So there was no reason as to why the Metropolitan Police wouldn't be aware of these convictions or arrests. Following a serious case review, they now accept that there was a lot of different examples where he could have been noticed and also stopped. The police also said in a statement the duration of his offending is unprecedented and it is regrettable that we didn't detect this before. Following the convictions of Wayne Cousins, they introduced the Anti-Corruption and Abuse Command and this is dedicated f solely on trying to root out corrupt cops. Carrick was only suspended from duty in October of 2021 when he was charged with them offences. The investigation was carried out by Hertfordshire Police and it culminated in the guilty pleas that have been entered today. In relation to his career history, he joined the Metropolitan Police in 2001. He initially worked as a response officer in Merton and Barnet and in 2009 he transferred to what was called the Parliamentary and Diplomatic Protection Command and this is where Wayne Cousins also worked. In relation to public complaints, they said in the statement that Carrick was subject to five complaints from members of the public during his time at the Metropolitan Police. They were all received between 2002 and 2008 and none of them were of a sexual nature. Two complaints alleged that Carrick was rude in a manner towards the member of the public. They were investigated and it was dealt with locally. Three other complaints related to excessive force and they were either withdrawn or dismissed. Prior to his service in the police force, he was a suspect for two offences that involved females. One involved an allegation of malicious communication and the second was an allegation of burglary. The victim was a former partner. Carrick had refused to accept the end of the relationship. He was not arrested and no further action was taken in relation to the case. In 2002, Carrick was accused of harassment and assault in relation to a former partner again. He was not arrested and no further action was taken in the case. Even though he was a serving police officer at this time, he was not referred for any disciplinary. In the year 2004, Carrick was involved in a domestic incident. No criminal allegations were made and he was not arrested. The matter was not referred to the professional standards again. In 2009, Hertfordshire Police responded to a third party report of a domestic incident that involved David. No criminal allegations were made and he was also not arrested, but this was held on record in relation to his character. 
Several years later in 2016, he was arrested by Hampshire police following allegations of harassment. He was arrested, but the investigation was later closed. The year after, in 2017, Carrick was spoken to by Thames Valley Police after he was ejected from a nightclub for being drunk. The information that had been provided by a third party suggested that he was violent, but he was never arrested or convicted. Several years later in 2019, it was alleged that he had assaulted a woman during a domestic incident in Hertfordshire and they said that he specifically grabbed her by the neck. No further action was taken and the Metropolitan Police gave Carrick advice in relation to informing the chain of command about any incidents that occurred off duty. And more recently, in July 2021, Carrick was arrested by Hertfordshire Police following an allegation of rape. The victim ultimately decided not to proceed and in August it was decided no further action would be taken. The victim was later spoken to as part of the current investigation and the offences she disclosed about Carrick he has pled guilty to today. So this is a lot of different examples of his relationships and violence towards women and the way that he just got away with it. There was never any arrests, convictions or even referrals for his behaviour off duty. And of course, because he kept getting away with it, it would have gave him more confidence. The Metropolitan Police have said they need to do a review of the way that they vet police officers. And a lot of people have taken to social media their thoughts and opinions on this subject are anything but nice. So thank you to everybody that has asked me to react to this news and also everyone that has watched the previous coverage. I'll be back again very shortly with some more and I'll definitely do an update when he gets sentenced so we can discuss them facts. Please don't forget to follow on social media at Scar City Studios and send your stories to news at scarcitystudios.com.